Good morning. It is a beautiful breezy morning here in Florida. I have my cards in front of me, a nice warm cup of cacao, and we're just gonna pull a card for the day to see what we get. I invite you to find a nice calm space where you can be undisturbed for maybe 10 to 15 minutes or so where you are able to fully put in your intention to receive so that your full awareness may be open and present and if there is a question or a thought that you may receive that through your deepest and highest awareness today. So let's pull a card. I haven't shuffled or given this a blessing yet. So while I shuffle, hold your intention. You may even say it aloud or call in your guides or your angels for clarity. You give us this blessing for attunement and atonement through our highest and greatest consciousness that we may receive the messages for our divine essence within, asking for blessings and protection from our guides and our angels, allowing whatever to flow through to be channeled with discernment, clarity, and understanding. And so it is. Message. I offer you this morning that I gave you clear understanding. So we have the Page of Swords and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. If this message is for you, you have to trust that Though you don't necessarily have all the answers, that they're not necessarily not there. And <clears throat> I think it's important for you to know that being grounded in your truth first and foremost is going to allow whatever to come through when it needs to come through. But right now, I think there is a sense of juggling a understanding just because you can't physically see it and a lot of times things have to work through a cycle or a season in order for them to become clear in order for them to become manifest in our 3d reality so you could be hoping for something to appear or some clarity to become manifest, but it just yet has not fully been through a phase of first it needs to feel so real that it can be manifest, then it needs to be wished upon, seeked out, uh, talked about, and spoken into words and um, story. And then we have to hold the faith and the intention that that thing will become its truest manifestation. And then we have to be open to receive that manifestation. So there is about four parts to the experience that we have to really 
be conscious of and that's the only way that anything will manifest so if this message is for you i would journal and communicate with people around you that make you feel comforted and if you don't necessarily feel like you want to reach out right now i don't think it's a necessity that you do so don't feel like going inward and kind of like removing yourself from others at this time um, is a bad thing just know that completely cutting yourself off from experience in general right now is not going to do you um, as good as it could if you were to still go and do what you need to do without worrying or feeling depleted or feeling in lack because that's not going to solve the manifest reality that you're trying to accomplish so i hope that that makes sense all right let's stick this back in so if that message does not resonate with you let's see what other message we have other clarity may I receive for the viewer today. All right. <clears throat> Another reversal. So, King of Cups in reverse. Let's think about this. Be so honest. So, <clears throat> this message is for you if you are feeling and sensing a little bit more than normal lately. I think these people who resonate with this card right now are going to be people who, people or persons, I think this actually might be more um, specify just for one person or very few people where it's abnormal for you to be so attuned and so aware to your surroundings that it can become a little daunting or a little new for you. I think you are coming into a deeper sense of awareness that you haven't necessarily been attuned yet to. So it can feel like a little chaotic at times, but maybe more so just unsure and as if something is after you or something is maybe out to destroy in a way but those are very very drastic expressions of this because know and understand that there is nothing in this world that can harm you so you just have to be in the knowing that whatever this new mysticism and magic that is working through you trust that that is what that is and it's nothing more than <clears throat> nothing less than I should say pardon I just <clears throat> keep getting stuff in my throat it's nothing less than magic and miracles and I can get the sense that it feels like your kingdom or your queendom it could this could be masculine or feminine just remember and know that also for the first message it could be masculine or fem feminine that <clears throat> this just holds the place of a masculine energy so this could be something within you that is making you feel a little less than grounded and a little less stable and secure and it's just because knowing that what is happening through the cosmos right now is a season of change and transformation so this is completely pulling out the things that you felt made you secure or felt that you identified with as being 
um, stable and secure in your foundation. And it's kind of rearranging those things because it's aligning you once again to something that truly is of your stability and your security. And it might be more in the place of more spiritualism or more um, of the unknown. And when we release our our human um, control on what we think should happen or how we want to move or how we should move forward, we can allow the spirit to come through and really be that in our guide that we've actually been searching for. Those are the things that we've been trying to come into our awareness with that we've just kind of been getting in our own way. And I think that that's the message for you if you resonate with this King of Cups. So just the two messages today I feel are enough. And if you enjoyed this chat, make sure to do all the things that uh, YouTube subscribers do and or wherever you're seeing this. I appreciate you for uh, liking and being present for these messages. So yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day and we will speak very soon. Bye.